Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. I'm your host, Nigel. In this tutorial, we're going to show you tips to improve your productivity in Flutter. There will be a link to this website here. This website just contains a list of some of the shortcuts we'll be going through, and I'll put a card for that. Anyway, so we'll get started. So let's go into our Android Studio, and we'll create a new project. Select Next. And I will specify the project location. And I'll just keep the defaults as they are and select next. And wait for that to build. That's now completed. I'll just tidy up the app so we just have the My App Stateless widget and I'll remove the unnecessary comments as well. Now I want to create a, a new file, so I'm going to show you an easy way to do that. First of all, just open up the project. And I'll just expand tips here. Okay, so we notice we've got the lib file here. I want to create a new Dart file, and I want to create it inside a folder called widgets. So I'm going to select the lib folder here. And so from lib, select file, new and Dart file, and that's how I've created a shortcut for that. So I'm just going to call my shortcut on that. And the key point here is you do have to have the lib folder selected here. That will be our or origin of where we create any subfolders as well. So I'm going to select my shortcut. And underneath the lib, I want widgets. And the name of my Dart file, and I'm just going to call that color circle. That's now created, and I want to create a stateless widget. So we can use this live template. Select Enter. And now we can just select the name of our class, and I'll call that Color Circle. Okay, and notice that we do require a library. So just put your prompt over the stateless widget and select alt enter and that's another shortcut we're going to go down and select the material and that will allow us to import a package now i'll create a final variable inside the class and i'll call it title and now we can actually add that to constructor so make sure you've selected that and press alt enter and we can create the constructor for the final fields. Now if I want to go back to the main Dart file, I can just press the Control alt key and select Main Dart. And we no longer have a home page, so I'll replace that with the new widget that we just created. And the widget was Colored Circle Class. And again, to import the library, we can just press Alt Enter and import that color circle. And it also has a property for that, so we can auto complete that. So I'm just going to press the Control Space, select the title, and just give it manually give it a title. And I'll just call this color circle. And I'll also change the Flutter demo name as well. Call that color circle app. And now I want to go back into my color circle, so I can select that and now I can just press Command B just to take me in there instead of uh, Control Alt. And we're back in there. Now I want to put the container inside a scaffold, so select container, select Alt Enter, and we can create a, a new widget. And from here, I can just call scaffold. I'll just tidy that up. And to go to the arrow there, I can just press F2. 
and that will need to be changed to a body. And inside the scaffold, I'm going to add an app bar. And again, I can press control space, bring up the title, and title is going to be a text. And I can just pass it the title property. Okay, now let's run this on your simulator or emulator. Notice how the app bar and body are not aligned. So I can just highlight the scaffold widget and press Control alt i And that brings the body in. Now I want to create our circle. So I'll create that inside the container. Again, I'll press the control space and select decoration and create a box decoration widget. And select the shape for that. And again, I'm going to press the control space autocomplete and select the box shape the circle. And also select the color for that. And it will be, I'll manually put in a color for the moment, which will be the color green. And we will give this a size as well. We can set the size in the container. So I'll set the width first to 200. And now I want to make a copy of the line below. So I can just use Command D. And go back and change the width to the height or I could have pressed F2 because it's an error. Now do a hot reload which is just command S. Now we've got the colored circle, it's just being displayed in the top left hand corner. I want it into, into the center. So to do that we can just put our container into our uh, center widget. So specify container, Alt Enter, and just write the word Center and select Enter. And do a hot reload. And as you can see, our colored circle has been moved into the center. Now I want to be able to select that circle and change its color. So to do that, we're going to need to change our stateless widget to a stateful widget. And there is an easy way to do that. So go up and select the stateless widget. Select Alt Enter and convert to stateful widget. Now we'll go down to our container and I'm just going to wrap the container inside our gesture detector. So again, I can press Alt Enter, New Widget, and that's going to be a gesture detector. and implement an on-tap property. And from here we can call our set state. And to do the color changing part, I'm actually going to install a package. So I'll go across to my browser and select the random color package there. So I'm going to select and make sure you select it installing and we can just select the dependency here and copy that and go back into our Android Studio and from here I want to open up our PubSpec file and I can just press Shift Command O and specify the file. I know it's a YAML file and add our dependency. And I'm going to install that from the terminal so I can just press Alt F12 and Flutter Pub Get. And go back to our color circle. So I'm going to just press Control Alt. And we will need to import the package.
Now go down to the box decoration widget and change color to the random color. And do a hot reload. And notice that we're getting an error there. That's because we've installed a new package. So instead of doing a hot reload, we can do a hot restart. And for that, it's just Command Shift F. And therefore, we've got a different color. Let's try clicking it. And you can click to your heart's content, generating circles of different colors. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial on Flutter Intel Day tips for beginners. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. There will be new tutorials coming out in the near future. Anyway, thank you for taking the time for watching this. Bye for now.